The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant needs to inject nitrogen into one of the reactors to prevent a hydrogen explosion, but the work is not going well. Tokyo Electric Power Company tried to examine the number three reactor building on Wednesday to see whether it could connect nitrogen injection pipes to the containment vessel. It used a robot mounted camera because high radioactivity in the reactor building means workers can't stay there long. But the robot could not reach the necessary part of the containment vessel. The schedule for stabilizing the plant shows that TEPCO needs to inject nitrogen in the number three reactor's containment vessel by July 17th. TEPCO is studying whether to send workers or a robot into the reactor building to examine the containment vessel again. It's already injected nitrogen into the containment vessels of the number one and two reactors. I haven't noticed any change. I think I'll have another and rejoin you in a minute. The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says a new cooling system is now working well following a string of problems. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it will accelerate the cooling of the plant's reactors in August, a vital step to bringing them under control. TEPCO says the cooling system has been working almost as planned since the start of this month. The system, which recycles decontaminated radioactive wastewater, had struggled to get up and running since its launch in late June. The utility says that with radioactive water still leaking from three reactors, it had to limit the amount of wastewater used in the system. The leaks mean that the level of toxic water already accumulated is not falling. The utility says if the water decontaminator keeps working properly, the water level will drop to more than one meter below the risk of overflowing by next month. The leaks mean that the level of toxic water already accumulated is not falling. The utility says if the water decontaminator keeps working properly, the water level will drop to more than one meter below the risk of overflowing by next month. That in turn would allow it to increase the amount of water used to cool the reactors. But TEPCO says it's still concerned about the extent of damage to the reactor containment vessels. Injecting more water into the damaged vessels could release more radioactive steam into the environment. It's the oldest trick in the book. What book? The distortion of truth by association book. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will boost its efforts to monitor airborne radioactive substances around reactor buildings. With further measurements, they hope to find the source and prevent further leakage. It is believed that dust containing radioactive substances and contaminated steam leaking from reactors is still being released into the air. Tokyo Electric Power Company has been measuring the levels regularly since mid-March. Recently, however, detection became difficult. This may have been due to the approximate one kilo, uh, kilometer distance between monitoring points and the reactor buildings. TEPCO decided to step up its monitoring and take measurements at additional locations near the number one to number four reactor buildings. The plant operator will also use remote-controlled robots to measure the radio level of radioactivity inside reactor buildings. Also, the firm that operates the Genkai nuclear plant tried to influence a public forum on whether to restart the reactors. The firm's president says he'll decide next week whether to resign to take responsibility. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to frighten you. Don't you believe me? A manager at Kyushu Electric Power Company told staff and affiliates to send emails in favor of restarting the plant to a televised meeting. 
Local residents are angry. It would be pointless to go into the reasons why, but I've been worried sick about boils for a fortnight. Large boils, small boils, fast eruptors, they're incurable, all of them. I know that and so does everybody else, until they get one. I trusted the company, so I'm shocked. I can't support a restart if the company acts like that. They have no business asking the public to save power. They should start over. The president of Kyushu Electric has begun questioning the manager who told people to send the emails. He says he'll decide next week whether to step down after talking with the company chairman who's due back from an overseas trip this weekend. The foregoing has made it obvious to me that we've had quite enough for one evening. We shall save the rest until next week when I shall reappear. Until then, good night.